So we just finished a project which has been looking at um, reducing disaster risk in inclusive ways. Um, and so one type of disaster that isn't talked about as much is pandemics. And a key contributor to pandemics is poor sanitation. And so we did a case study in the city of Bharatpur in Nepal. And this was looking at the ways that um, urban planning, service delivery, um, link to uh, biological hazard, which is um, the hazard that causes disease. So one of the main findings of the project is that a key driver of biological hazard comes from contaminated waterways. Um, so this can happen in several different ways. The project found that there was illegal dumping of waste, um, which leaked into the river. And there are also open sewer canals which are constructed. Um, so these can be a breeding ground for mosquito. Um, and then when the monsoon comes, um, the river can overflow its banks. So when the riverway is contaminated, this is the water that people drink from, it's the water that people bathe in. Um, and so this is how diseases can be spread or pandemics like um, COVID-19 can be made worse. So some key recommendations we have from the project about what can be done better in Bharatpur. Um, firstly, service delivery needs to improve. So better waste collection and making sure that people can access um, clean and safe drinking water. Um, secondly, um, different departments need to talk to each other because these challenges are all related. So disaster risk reduction, urban planning and public health. And thirdly, um, we know that although everybody is impacted, different groups are impacted in different ways. Um, so particularly um, vulnerable urban residents, such as those living in informal settlements along the river and people living in peripheral areas that struggle to access um, clean drinking water, these voices need to be heard in decision making. I am a real nerd over public transport. So when I first came to Bangkok, I got very overexcited about the SkyTrain. Mm -hmm.